So today we're going to be reviewing Inform Bastost, plays for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga, he's 6 foot 5 tall, he's right footed, he's got medium low work rates, he's got a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, he's stand up to his 92 heading, 91 attack positioning, 89 finishing, 88 shot power and 87 strength. We've also included all the upgrades over his non-inform, just as a comparison, so you can see each individual stat increase of every stat, so you can always pause the video if you want a closer examination of his stats. So this is the team we're using Inform Dost in, a Bundesliga 4-2-3-1 side with Inform Dost up top. So we were using Dost as a lone striker, as a target man, as let's be honest, his pace is really poor. He's only got 58 acceleration and 63 sprint speed. So if you're planning on uh, getting away from defenders, this pace will not help you at all. If you can't play without pace, he defo isn't the guy for you and I wouldn't even try buying him. Another downside is his dribbling, which is not the greatest either, and he does feel slow and he does feel clunky, so don't expect to be dancing through the defenders like Neymar. But where he does excel is in his shooting and in his aerial ability as well. Now obviously he doesn't have the pace as we said, but he does have great attack positioning, I think 91 attack positioning. So he often puts himself in great areas to receive the ball for a pass or into the box, creeping in the box to receive a cross without needing to do too much to find space, as he has poor dribbling. Now, he does have a cracking shot on him, though. Great from outside of the box, despite his 72 long shot, he did have some decent efforts from outside of the box, but it is inside the box where he is at his most dangerous. Not only with his 89 finishing, but he is a big unit as well. He's 6 foot 5 tall, has got 87 strength, so he can hold off defenders, and his size is great for challenging with jumping for headers. Now he has 92 heading accuracy and he does have the power header trait as well. So he's great in the air. So if you like to cross, much like with Man of the Match Giroud, if you like to cross abuse, he's the man to get up top, get them crosses in. He is going to be winning a lot of headers for you in the box. And he did bag his first share of goals for us in our team. Does have medium low work rates, which is not too bad for a striker. Better than medium medium. He's not going to be dropping too deep into midfield. But he does only have two star skills, which is another bad point. Which doesn't help with his poor dribbling. It is a bit of a letdown. He's limited to ball rolls, fake shots. Really, he is only useful as a big target man. And if it does not suit your play style playing this way, you will struggle with informed dust. So let's look at Inform Dost's performance stats. So in six games, he managed to get 10 goals and got two assists. All stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map bottom right shows you where the goals are scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Dost an average 7.5 out of 10. I did actually find him pretty decent. He does have brilliant shooting and he does make a great target man with his height and aerial ability. He is sort of suits my play style. I like playing with a target man up top. It's just the main problem of his pace and his dribbling. If you can get over that and you do enjoy using the slower players, I'd recommend him. As he is, he will be going for discount price. Already a bargain on release night. If not, I wouldn't even bother trying him. So finally, just onto his positives and negatives. Positives are, he has got a great finishing. Obviously, he's got his great 92 heading and his height. So he is a massive threat in that box for crossing. So he's got a great 91 attack positioning. So despite his pace, he does make himself available in some good positions. And of course, he's got his good strength for holding off defenders. Onto his negatives, obviously, pace is not the fastest. He's not going to be getting away. And also he doesn't have good agility or dribbling, which is a, a major problem for if you like to dribble. You're only going to be able to deploy him as a target man to uh, get those crosses in or long balls. And obviously his two-star skills, which is not good. Basically all of his pace and dribbling attributes are just really, really poor. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped out a bit. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. Trying to grow the channel. Trying to do the most in-depth reviews as we can. Please check out the channel for more reviews. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for them. Cheers lads. Thanks for watching and peace.